simply drawn here and today we are opening that lock that we drew. So remember we're asking what do you want that feels unavailable to you and today we are actually symbolically opening the lock as if you had the key like in the other video and you have opened it. What will change? So we're starting with the body of the lock. Again, make it match your other lock. So it's, I did kind of a square with rounded corners. And as I make the shackle to the lock, right, I'm figuring out where the end is because it didn't go down into the body. So like I'm looking up and marking, that's where the end of the shackle is going to be. And it has that little notch out of it, which is why when you push it into the body, it's able to lock until you have the key. And this is the inside of the line. So we're trying to do a line that connects to that end point of the notch. And then we'll do our parallel line out and above it like a rainbow. That's the basic of the lock, but remember we gave it a little sloppy 3D quality, so I'm marking like where the shackle goes into the body of the lock, and just putting a little bit of depth with a little bit of shading, but really keeping it loose. It's more about the symbolic message that you have unlocked it with the key. So I'm doing mine to match the one that was locked with the band across the bottom and a little shading on the right with lines. And then I'm going to add some little reflection of the metal part on the shackle and then shade by making the underside a little extra thick and adding some lines to that side so it appears a little darker where it's the underside of it. And there's your open lock, remembering to ask yourself what will change when you have unlocked the locks you've placed on yourself.